Gaming and musical comedy, yeah, buddy! Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of WWE Supercard! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! And in this episode, we're going to talk about uh, the Last Man Standing event and where you, about the rankings you're gonna need to get a comparable to a uh, Heroic Pro um, stats for these. Because remember, Last Man Standing cards, and I'm on the, the other side of the screen today, if you didn't notice, um, the Last Man Standing cards are not Heroics. They are not Probables. Think of them as already a card that could be a Heroic Pro, or better. It all depends on how well you rank with it, okay? Uh, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my uh, AJ Styles 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 20! And then we uh, we got the Heroic on both of them, uh, which is nice. Uh, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 20! So we're going to combine him, and this is kind of what you're going to need to figure out where you need to end up for your ranking if you want to have the best possible card. Well, the best possible card is one. All right, so you can see right there at Heroic Pro, that's 156, 152, 156 race. So if you look at this, if you finish the top 100, it looks like. Now, this is not accurate for sure. My guess is that uh, the top 2,000 will be the best um, last man standing things. Um, those will be better than Heroic Pros. But then again, it might just be this amount. And I don't know how far this goes. Uh, but that is, uh, both were Heroic, both were the maxed out. You can see I've got Gold Heroic Pro here. Uh, that means both cards were Heroic when you did that. I don't think they did that for uh, Titans. Uh, they do that now for WrestleManias. But you can see if uh, I'm here at level 0, and this is out of 75, so it might be a little bit... Uh, it really depends on how high um, they go. You can already see that at level 0, 10k proc is pretty huge. Okay, uh, Over here, this is level 0, uh, is, and there were no stats put into the proc. That's only 6,400. Um, I'm leaving this here just because I want to show you uh, basically how to figure it out. All right, They're both WrestleMania 34, so they should go up about the same. Um, anything that is probably around... The 107 or uh, uh, this is is probably goes to one uh, 99, so probably guaranteed 99 and above uh, rank 99 to first place will be better than heroic pros. All right, that's my guess. There's no, I have no information. Obviously, we'll find out real soon. Um, and then uh, even even down here, this is uh, anything better than. Probably this, 27K, will be better than um, a, a Titan Pro event card. That's my guess. Um, but I don't know. You know, that's uh, that's what I'm guessing. But i uh, really excited about this because uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how well uh, everybody does. Um, I know that uh, people are talking about um, the streaks. I believe they reset when you go to a new arena. Um and I don't really know how much uh, I want to invest in this. Uh, it's going to play a little bit like PCC. It's going to play a little like not PCC. To me, I think it's going to play like, um, I don't know. <laughs> I had a great idea. Like uh, the, the, the higher ranks, it's going to kind of be like, uh, if you've ever watched the Hearthstone rank to play, um, those, uh, once you get the top, the top 1,000, they're all by numbers. But you got to get so many levels up there first uh, before you even have to worry about it. I think that's how that's going to play out. Um, I will probably uh, brush off the dust on some of the old accounts to see what we can do with this. Um, I do have school, you know, Thursday and Friday, and then I'm on vacation. So um, we'll be able to see what's going on. But I predict uh, anything above, uh, anything 99 and above will be better than Heroic Pros. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but then again, it doesn't need to be, okay? Um, back in Season 1, for those of you that may not have been around as long, um, Events Pros uh, went to the top 5 uh, when it first started, okay? It was a long time ago. Um, so, these things, you know, they uh, it, it can always change if uh, it's very, very popular. Um, I anticipate it being pretty popular. You know, uh, it's and those that spend money 
or spend credits can do a lot. Also, people that get lucky with their doublers and stuff, and uh, they're letting it ride. The real big thing is on this one is it's really all about the streaks. You know, um, is your deck good enough to uh, to streak? Okay, and um, this um, I don't know exactly how it's going to work, um, but you might I might have something where um, well actually it's it's not up to you cannot change your deck. I was just going to say maybe I'll run my uh, the deck I run for my wild mode, which is uh, you know um, all ultimate uh, event cards, but it's based on your top eight um, guys. Okay. Top 12 cards, all right? Top 8 males, top 4 females, which is weird. Or is it just top 12? I think it's 8 males, 4 females, which is weird because it's called Last Man Standing. All right, so anyways, uh, this is basically all the information that we have on this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, finally uh, boost up my guy. Um, but you can see this is rank number 1, uh, 166 to level 0. You can see that is better than this. Um, and uh, 107, that's just under... This and this remember this is both are pro. That's probably if you had if I took one of the pros away on this, um, it would be about the same. If it was just a regular WrestleMania 34 event uh, pro, um, it would this card at 107 ranked. That's what that means. Uh, would be probably better than that. All right. So we got the AJ, which is nice. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yay! I don't know why I'm saying oh no. So uh, let's just, uh, we're going to level him up all the way uh, right now because there's no reason for me to, uh, you know, uh, do that otherwise. All right, so here we go. Uh, hello. Hello. Where are you, buddy? There you are. All right, and, uh, oh, hello. But I do love the uh, the, the the gold star and the, the heroic gold. That does make me happy um, because I never got the other ones. And now that I've got these two, uh, it's going to be way, way easier. Um, oh, I got a Titan Power. I did not know that. Uh, yes, I was not paying attention, which is not surprising. All right, so that already brings us to 40. And you can see he's already at 194, which is nice. Um, uh, yeah, we just uh, we can do that. And uh, it's, it's nice to use one enhancement and get a whole lot of cards up there. All right, so let's just do all this. And uh, I don't know uh, how easy it is going to be to grind. The good part is, on the last man setting, is that there is no bouts. There are no bouts. So you could put the time in and not, um, and like maybe say only, uh, you know, only ever do plus twos or, or times twos or times threes. And the higher you go up in your arenas, the more points you get. So... Uh, it's really, you may want to find a, a, a conservative strategy if your deck is of something that wins all the time or you have a good deck. Um, that could be something that you choose. Uh, you can be more uh, gambly with that. Or you can also spend credits on the blockers and stuff like that. Um, maybe some of those things will drop from the board so you can stack uh, uh, stuff like that. I don't know exactly. So, um, um, well, Matt Hardy, you're, you're, you're woken. But uh, now he's all all the way up there. Um, so you can see there. And now what I do is, for the proc, I always put five. Uh, I put five in the two best stats, which is speed and uh, power. And then I put one in the second best, um, the next best stat. This is how I'm going to do all of my guys. Um, because it just makes sense to me. It, it maximizes the stats. Um, you don't have to worry about the 42%. Because remember, that's still uh, not a guarantee. And if you do a, a whole lot in proc, your stats and the others, uh, the secondary uh, or the other tertiary or the quadertiary, the third and fourth stat, um, they may not be as good. So uh, that is what we have here. And what we will do is we will put him right into the uh, the two for uh, what you call it, the uh, momentums. So let's just do that. And now what I can do, oh, hello, um, is... Uh, I can uh, try starting some of these King of the Rings and maybe getting some Titans from that. But you can see uh, this is much, uh, not much bigger than here. Um, he is better than instead, but I mean, this is like very, very close, uh, comparatively speaking. And, um, you know, overall, he's really, he's 75% against him. <laughs> so, you know, that's, uh, that's the way that is. But then again, uh, once you boost up his... Uh, once you level up his stuff, uh, his speed will be higher than Daniel Bryan's, and uh, that's 
what what will happen with that when you uh, level le play level them up? So, but barely, you know, it, it's something where a manager uh, with speed, which I do run, <laughs> could uh, overtake it. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's go to the King of the Ring and uh, let's go to Manager Superstars because I haven't even tried this in a while. Autofill, um, and it puts these guys in weird spots. Um, I know that I'm going to want to put these guys over here and there. And uh, I don't know why this is still there. I don't have, uh, I don't have the best females. You know, I'll be honest with you. Um, I could, I could try. I mean, these aren't compatible. Um, but I don't know why. I mean, that's that's a much better tag team as this than the other way. You know, I hate the auto thing. It's just stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Um, then again, you know what I have to do? I mean, that's just a better better thing. And uh, they don't play level up, so it doesn't really matter, you know? Um, I, let's just uh, let's just sandbag some. And, uh, I don't know if that's even a thing anymore uh, because you can't change them around, you know what I'm saying? But uh, let's see here. We're still probably in... Oh, no, we're not in... T we're not in WrestleMania 34. All right, let's just go over here. <laughs> that didn't happen. So... Ah, that's weird. Interesting. Huh. Well, anyways, I will, uh, I will just go play this, I guess. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. This doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, alright, well, I'm gonna just make this good. <laughs> just, uh, Carmella on Carmella action. The, the champion, Carmella. It's a Carmelabration, or a Melabration that's happening right now on SmackDown. And uh, I gotta get back to that. So, anyways, I love you long time. Blink, 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 bye, 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 yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. And happy Last Man Standing. Uh, and we will be streaming a bunch and, uh, you know, grinding and all that other good stuff. So, have fun. All right, bye bye now. Click here to subscribe. Thank you if you already did